Hi everyone, my name is Autumn Baldwin and I'm a member of CK's Dream Team. In this video I'll be showing you how to create a chevron pattern paper from any digital striped paper that you have. I'm using Photoshop Elements, but if you're using the full version of Photoshop, the direction should be virtually the same. What we need to do to get started is open any striped paper you'd like to use and then open another blank file. We want this sized at 9 inches by 9 inches, resolution 300 pixels per square inch, color mode color, and background contents at transparent. Once we have these two files open, we're ready to get started. Click back to your striped paper. The first thing you'll want to do is to rotate this paper so that your lines are going diagonally instead of just vertically. Because the paper is a background right now, it's locked. The easy way to change that is to double click on this padlock here. A new layer box will come up. You don't have to change anything. Just click OK. This unlocks the layer and allows you to change it, make changes and transform it, which you can see by the boxes and dotted line around the edge. The arrows that'll come up tell you you can now change this. You'll want to hover your cursor right next to one of the corners until you get a curved arrow line. And then go ahead and rotate your paper until it's diagonally. I like mine a little bit more up and down than a true diagonal straight to the corners. And then you can click the green check mark to commit that change. The next step is to create a selection from this striped paper. So go over to your tool bar and grab your rectangular marquee tool. Be sure feather is set to zero so that we'll get a crisp clean edge on our selection. And then choose a fixed size of one and a half inches wide by nine inches tall. Come to the top near the center of your paper and click down once. That'll give us our selection. We need to copy the selection and paste it over onto our new file. The easiest way to do that is to hold down Control or Command if you're on a Mac and then simply click and drag over to the new file. At this point you can close your striped paper. We won't be needing it anymore. Just remember not to save since we've made changes to it. All right. Now we have our first segment of our chevron pattern ready for us on our new file. Hit V to get back to your move tool or click the move button and line this segment up along the very left hand side of your paper. The next thing you'll want to do is make a copy of this segment right here and then flip it so that on the copy the diagonal lines are going down. To make a copy, simply hold down the Alt or Option key and then drag out. You'll have a new identical copy right here. Flipping is really easy too. Under Image, Rotate, Flip Layer, Horizontal. Now it's simple to either use your cursor or your arrow keys to nudge this right into place. We want to make sure that you're getting crisp corners there, that things are lined up just perfectly. Once you like how that looks, come over to your layer palette, hold down the shift key and click both of your layers, and then right click to merge those layers together. Now all that's left is making two more copies of this, so again hold down your alt key, click and drag. Position that copy how you'd like it. And then one more time, hold down your Alt key, click and drag. Now you can just use your arrow keys to make sure everything's lined up perfectly. When you're happy with how that looks, go ahead and hold down the Shift key, click all three of these layers, and then right click, merge the layers again. You might see that you have a little bit of background showing along the top or right edges. That's easy to take care of. Simply 
look at the top corner box and then pull that up to expand your chevron pattern so that it fills your entire page. Now you're set. All you need to do is save this as a JPEG and you're ready to use your new chevron print paper in any digital scrapbooking project.